have you ever imagined people who excel and achieve things that are above assumptions people who punch above their weight like the small child here he always believes anything is possible they are fired by imagination not fired by fear when we look at uh, napoleon bonaparte he once said impossible is the word found only in the dictionary of fools and if you look at the glass half full it's so much positivity the foundation is already built you can reach up you are already half way up there it is one of possibilities not diminishing so that's my big story rise above yourself and if i were to tell this story let me tell this through some experiences and here is uh, my some of the experience and i want to start with a boy master ramesh master ramesh was born in chennai and he did his uh, schooling initial schooling in chennai and the andhra pradesh till the fifth standard then suddenly his dad got transferred to jamnagar now sir he had to learn hindi and uh, he has to study in a english medium school hindi was as much important as english and then he reached there and he had to take an entrance exam he tried to do whatever he could for two months and he sat for the exam and one of the exam big questions was an essay and the essay was on cow guy and then he stood there and he sat down and tried start writing guy hamari mata hai but he couldn't remember anything who after that he said aage kuch nahi aata hai so the teacher was also equally strict he said bhais hamara baap hai mark dena paap hai and then he you know what happened he failed so but the teacher seeing the enthusiasm of the kid and the earnestness of his parents said he will be admitted in if you promise that by the finals you will get passing marks if you not you will be chucked out fair enough that was a risk that they had to take by the time ramesh arrived at his class his reputation had arrived before him everybody in the class knew something that he doesn't know hindi so and then some of the gurus in the class some of his mentors good friends came to him and said you know you have to sit in the first row and all you have to do is whenever the sir asks any question that you know the answer you put up your hand and say sala and he has what does sala mean you know in english sir in hindi sala i said okay it appears quite okay right he, sir sala so the teacher asked the first question as a very studious person ramesh put up his hand and said sala and then the teacher very angry came down to slap him but as he was trying to come hand was coming down the teacher also realized i corrected his paper he doesn't know anything of hindi so somebody put him up to it so he has and tell me the name of the person who put you up to it and you'll be pardoned he won't rat on his friends and he took 3 days of punishment but while he was punished he said one thing to himself i will never be again in this situation and then he went on to top the class in hindi in the final exams and after that became a pro writer story writer and a poet of his kind of repute then he got transferred to amdavad so that is another town which he had to go to and here he had by this time reached 9th standard and he said i want to play basketball and he was told oh you are too short you can't play basketball it is made for tall people only tall people can do it and as his want he said give me a chance the coach gave him a chance he went to represent his house in the class in the in the school he went to represent the school in the city in the city in the state and he made a state basketball player what does this tell i uh, told him when he did this is this firing about a karmveer poem that he had learned this was a rhyme which students uh, which helped him go through all these phases and it it is like this veer tum bade chalo deer tum bade chalo samne pahad ho singh ki dahad ho tum nidar date raho tum nidar hato nahi veer tum bade chalo और लोहे को जो चना चबा जाते हैं जो लोग कर्मवीर कहलाते हैं वो लोग 
So this is all that he learned from school, which kept him in good school. This Ramesh of that young age later on went to become a reasonable enough senior person in a reasonable enough company and he is now called Parthasarthi because Ramesh happened to be his nickname. So that apart, that apart I come to the current company that I am working for. I used to work in Delhi in an MNC, very happy, very well placed and when we came this company came to me and said, how do you like to be part of an Indian company which can be world number one? And how, even in that, you can be part of a company which make farmers' prosperity come true around the globe? Appeared very, very interesting to me, but very fearful because I had to leave a secure job in Delhi and come and take it with an Indian company trying to go through this process. But I took that risk. And I came to Mumbai, I worked with this company, seven years later, we came, we saw, we conquered. We were world number one. And not only were we world number one, we also achieved the coveted Japan Quality Medal, the equivalent of Nobel Prize in the world of quality. So the thought of never give up and achieve what seems to be impossible came into my mind. Then I said, this is happening with me. But is it only me? I looked into the examples of what this company had done in the past. There was a time in India when petrol's engines got banned. And the only way to survive was to have a diesel engine in the car. And it, they found out how much time does it take to develop a diesel engine and it took 24 to 36 months. Wow, we have three months to survive and we have a product we can only come in 36 months. So what's the other option? I said, you can die. Yeah, I, no, 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 I don't accept that as an option. So what else is possible? So they looked across and found a tractor division having diesel engines. They said, can a tractor engine be made to work in an automobile or a car engine? And in three months time, they converted it into a car engine. The company survived, thrived, and it's what it is today. And that big change happened in a span of three to four months. So I said, okay, it must be more example. And I got an example. This example is where I was having a ringside view. I, was, I had joined that company by that time. And this happened in about 2000 fraud. All MNC auto players had come to India. And then the advisors told that your auto, Indian auto company cannot survive. So please sell this company and go. It's better that way. You will at least get some money today. If you stay on, you will get nothing. So again, the question was, what is the option? The option is, if you can make a product at one-tenth the cost of what a global MNC we make, if you can make a product which will be delight in terms of features and price to the Indian customers, you can survive. So option die or make a world class product at one tenth the cost at a price which will delight the Indian customer. They did that in 200 million dollars. Normally it takes about one and a half to two billion to make a product. And that product became a runaway success. And this company became a 10 billion dollar market cap company in India. And the product which they made is still a hot seller, you'll know it by the name Scorpio. So what does all this tell us? All this tells us that we can rise above ourselves by accepting no limit, alternate thinking, and driving positive change. Let me just illustrate. Accepting no limit is about saying where attitude is more important than facts. Not my words, it's a quote by one of the best-selling authors. And when you have that kind of attitude, you can achieve the impossible. The second is alternate thinking. Alternate thinking is not about Jugaad, only about Jugaad. It is about day-to-day -day innovation, day-to-day -day expansion. And that creates a huge amount of positive energy. 
if you put these together it creates magic magic of the kind that a bumblebee creates you know this bumblebee cannot fly tunnel experiment will prove that bumblebee cannot fly why because the wing span to the body width is such that it cannot fly but the fact is it does and that's why you creates magic when you put this together but both this is not sufficient but not the only criteria for success the third one is if there is a purpose there is a mission there is something positive about what you do then you would like to come to work as the millennials they will say i want to go and work only with a company which drives positive energy so the third and the most important thing is driving positive change when you put these three together then you can rise above yourself there is one quote i had read this is the last one i will say the one quote i read said thou shall not rise above how you see yourself but i say if you do the three principles thou shall rise above yourself thank you